Yeah. As far as locked, like straight oh, up. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, there. Oh, see what Mine was locked like this. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> no, I'm just tired tonight. <laughs> and last night, the night before. Mm -hmm. So the Harper Day Foundation hits me up every day. I got another meeting, so. Uh, Oops, okay, that's not going to write. I'll probably, right. I'll probably leave my light. Yeah. <laughs> Part of my tennis, definitely. Yeah, I actually know. Yeah, I'm an Harper Day event. Maybe I can get out here like 710 or something. I love it. Let's be if. All we have to do is finish voting on the list, yeah. which is what we don't have that much more to go. <laughs> so we got there, we just have to. Really? Yeah, I think there, they were at one point. I think it kind of faded away. Was it the Harbor Day Foundation? Because yeah. there's a million different. This is an old tried and true. Yeah, one you can actually get. Um, I can drop off. Oh, Cartridge. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. That's like unheard yeah. of. That's just. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of dead. This <laughs> is Phil's because he can't be here tonight. And this is him. I was sick that day. I had fallen asleep. I woke up and it was dark. I didn't know what day it was. Like, I didn't know if it was morning or night. I'm like, where am I? And he call, he's calling me. And I'm like, where am I? What day? Where am I supposed to be? 28 years ago. So, anyway. We've been out there a lot. We talked about her going home, but when she was 40, told me if I wanted to bring a kid, I'd better just go right now. So, so she gave birth at 40. Hi, hey, Peter. Yeah, it was like so unexpected. You like them? For everyone. Now I know where my tax is. See that? Three copies of friends and friends. They were only like $12,000. No, I'm just kidding. It was like $3,000? It was, it was, it was, it was actually, I thought it was more reasonable. It was like three grand. Yeah, it was not. It was not. It was not, it was not like this many chairs? Yeah. yeah. All these chairs? That's not bad. She also Considering the other ones are 35 years old. So I'm going to get some so office equipment for her. When she was first out there? For North TV. Mm -hmm. Where did we get them at the, at that? Uh, we don't, that's not open anymore. Interesting that. And so she was doing that. I don't know where we got them. Child care journey. But I thought it was pretty weird. Because that behind you. You remember that office place? I can't think of it. Scott Culls? And she was It's probably been out of business. Are they? Yeah, they just do deliveries. They're just a delivery business. Which I don't know how they're still. Oh, wonderful. So we're like every other. We'll be out there the whole morning. I'll be out there the whole morning. I'll be out there the whole morning. I'll tell you a little quick story. We were out since the birthday time of like a four year old. Yeah, right. Probably not. And my mom. Just turn nine years old. Right? They just got here. Because Tuesday I came in, I was like, You could tell on a smile on his kid's face. Yeah, we're happy. Big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I have one from Phil this time. Is he going to get out? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, well, yeah, we got what he, she might like all the. All right, you guys, you guys again? Like Tori. Tori loved all that stuff. Yeah, you guys Only agree. because her dad did. Yeah. <laughs> so, Laura needs to be somewhere just after 7 o'clock, or actually at 7, but she's willing to get there a little bit late for us. So, I'm hoping we can crank through this last bit of the list really quickly. Yeah, I don't do anything on my account. Okay, so. very good. So, um, you guys remember how we did it last time for those of you who were here, basically? I we talk about the issue. Talk with the pros and cons, and then just when we're done with the discussion, you guys vote on it. I stay out. The only time I vote is to break a tie. So um, I I do have information. Um, Phil is not able to be here, and he's emailed me his oh, good. his idea. So I have his. So I'll be doing whatever he says, and yep. then what I excellent, think. very good. Okay, so the next idea, number sixteen, that was where we left off. That was a greenhouse, um, allowing for a greenhouse to be put on. The, uh, the grounds and I think that also included something to do with the high school greenhouse program so go ahead and discuss it when you guys are done discussing it then we basically vote oh, say yes or no is there any discussion? I think right now the greenhouse is like in the middle if I remember correctly because I used to buy plants there when I was a science coordinator we used to walk over and buy plants at that I think it's still a small area right in the middle of the school have they asked anything about having a bigger space or no, I haven't heard anything this is also a possible like community greenhouse idea you know it could be used that's that was what was presented to us back when whoever it was that presented I have written does down. the new high school have a greenhouse I, I don't they, do I don't I think no. they do are know. they gonna have one I, I thought I don't remember that I don't, I don't remember I feel that. like uh, because I'm on, I'm on I've only seen the plans a thousand times yeah I, don't I can't remember remember seeing that anywhere in the plans and I, mm. I mean you would think for the Votech because it's such a popular program that it would still have it but maybe they didn't put it in I don't know because mm. so it's a separate remember. building that has to be built so maybe that's the reason Teach them to grow marijuana in the greenhouse. It seems to be an up and coming industry here in Attleboro. <laughs> yes. Oh, that would be good for the high school. It just seems Leo. to be. It just <laughs> seems to be. <laughs> good thing George isn't here to hear that one. Their own education. Yeah. yeah. I, I, if they're not going to be building it for the high school, I could see where space could be found because it wouldn't take up that much space. I mean, if it's not part of the plans there, it wouldn't take up much space out of the 83 acres yeah. um, and it's right across the street so I think that's probably the only way that I would think it'd be a good idea only if it wasn't already included in their plans because I know it's a very popular program and a lot of kids take part in it. Um, cool. the, the, key to, the key to me would be <laughs> where and how do you protect it? The I greenhouse right now is in the middle of the courtyard. It's in the middle. Uh, right. If it's in a public place where kids are going at night or there is it going to become a target of rocks so that would be the key that's, that's exactly what I was going to say yeah. Yeah. well like I said the ideas that you guys vote on just because we vote yes on something and add it to this list doesn't mean we're actually going to do it because we might not get funding we might not you know environmental reasons might not do it whatever but you know it just is uh so you can vote to keep it on the island or vote it off the island right now it's up to you guys you know or continue discussing we voted on community garden, yes. I'm not sure if the greenhouse is supposed to be part of, you mentioned community versus high school. Well, the greenhouse could be either one. I mean, when, when it was discussed, when somebody approached us about this, they, um, I remember it was, they, they kind of talked about it as like a multifaceted greenhouse, like, oh, mm -hmm. the community could use it year round. And then the high school, because they don't use the one they have there, they could also use it. So we could get those du that dual use, the high school and the community. And, you know, whether or not, you guys would like to see that on this property is I, I think we should just keep it on just as a possibility so let's have all the yeses unless there's any more discussion well I'm in favor because I run the school garden at Willett so it's a teaching garden and we want to we my teacher that is my partner we want to see this go through all the schools eventually it'd be great to have that kind of education growing your own food so if that's something that can be done if there's a way to do it because a, a greenhouse has a lot it's not just like a sun room it needs it needs you know um, ventilation it needs to be heated there's there's sort of a little bit of um, maintenance to it so those things would have to be considered but um, I it would be great to see it if we can manage it 
Oh my goodness, years ago when I was teaching third and fourth grade at Willett, we did a garden in the back. I was on the portable. That was <laughs> seeds from space. They'd actually been up in the shutter. Oh, and we were awesome. growing them, comparing them tomatoes to what that were out in space and tomatoes that were from Earth. And we did a whole, yeah, oh my goodness, that flashback. <laughs> my gut feel is that this would attract volunteers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and vote. How many yeses? How many noes? So we have two noes. And seven yeses. No. Oh, let me see Phil. I, I um, Phil two. is, I, I don't feel strongly about this. I guess I would vote yes. Yeah. Should it be something that could be built by the a AHS VOC classes themselves and used by AHS students? Okay, so that's a seven, seven to two vote then. Because we have two people vote no and then the rest of you vote okay, that's seven. Okay. Okay, right. Yes. Okay, next one. An ice skating or hockey in the pond area or sledding in the hilly areas. What do you guys think about this? Just go ahead and open up. That's what one person suggested we do. Uh, for years, people have skated in the, on the smaller pond off the what was the first fairway. Uh, I don't know if the official name was Skunk's Pond, but that's what it was called, Skunk's Pond. Uh, and then the hills, which were the ninth tee, people still always did. My only question is, and this is not a question I can answer. If it becomes a city facility, is there a liability issue? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, there's kids are skating on our ponds all over the place, and we're not liable for Lee's Pond, and we're not liable for kids sledding on the hill because if somebody is injured on our facilities, we're not liable when they are hurt on our recreation fields. We're not liable when they're hurt playing football at, unless it's something that we're faulty at creating when they're playing football at Adelboro High we're not liable if some kid falls and breaks their ankle playing, playing. but there's supervision then yeah but kids sled yeah. mm -hmm. kid everywhere, were, everywhere. Kid, uh, at um, Locust, Locust Field they, 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 no, they, Locust. they, sl right. they sl uh, sled at uh, Horton Field anywhere where there's a hill they skate at Lee's Sorry. Pond mm -hmm. and even back a few years ago if you remember um, there was a ban on skating on city um, city property in the recreation department and the commission made a big push to um, overturn the um, the ordinance and, and, and now they put the light ice ladders back out and there is skating on all city uh, owned ponds so I don't I don't see where it wouldn't be a uh, I don't see where it'd be an issue I think it'd be a great idea for the kids yeah. to, be, to be, be able to use that facility yeah kids used to always skate at Cape and Park now with the lemurs that's we that was the skating place that's where everybody because it was a, it was a shallow everybody went there yeah um, I mean we even put the skating rink up at um, the, uh, up at the Riverwalk oh, yeah. Park, and of course it's never been used, no. but it was put there for that reason. Mm -hmm. There's also one up at Finberg Field that hasn't been filled. Right. Like they mm -hmm. dug something in. Right. But kids have been, the last few weeks, they've been skating on the little mm -hmm. ponds like Bliss yes. Berry. Mm. So it, the more things like that, the better, I think. Yeah. And get kids outside. Any way we can get kids and families outside doing something, sledding, skating, anything in the winter I think is great or summer anytime of the year. I think it's more of a liability issue on private property than it is on public property. Mm -hmm. We deal I, in my office I deal a lot with the uh, liability issues and we're, we're getting we get sued for everything that people yeah. don't even know about so um, I mean it doesn't matter we you know we could figuring out how to make sure our you know <coughs> if we needed insurance and how much it would cost we worry about that later. The, purpose of us right now is do you guys want to see that on this land yes or no I mean think, I think if I think you put up idea. signs on the property yeah. that this residents of Attleboro you know actually bought and paid for and you put up signs that to be in sledding <coughs> skating it'd be a public relations disaster yeah. mm -hmm. I personally like the idea I think you know if we put up a sign that you know signs that said hey uh, ice skating pond when it's such and so you know and like skate so, at your own risk sled at your, your, your own risk I mean, that kind for, of the, thing for people to know exactly where they can go to skate or sled i think that's great i believe the the bonus with that pond and actually there's a pond over where the the fourth uh fourth hole was as well i don't think it's very deep no, unlike mechanics bullshit. pond where if, if somebody went through i mean they'd go over their head 
Uh, I think Skunk's Pond is only like three or four feet. And South Attleboro, you wouldn't believe it, but it's 10 feet deep in, in well, the middle. Yeah. So when, after they dredged it in 81, they, it was dredged. Um, so it's, that's a pretty deep one. So it's much safer if people go there. So let's go ahead and do a vote. How many people say yes? Yes, yeah. and I say yes, and Phil says yes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, wait a minute, I counted on. We had five over here. Six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So and nine to zero. Could you, like, come back um, cross country skiing on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's yeah, actually on the trail. You could cross. Yeah, yeah we, that's number number twenty five. Okay. That's down below. So n number eighteen out of twenty nine, we have multi sports field, uh, field multi sport fields, four pickleball courts, bocce, playground for kids. These were just kind of random miscellaneous. Um, would you guys like to see stuff like that at this location? That's the question. Stuff like multi sport fields. And just because we vote yes, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. I mean, we still have to fund it and stuff and figure out where it would go. And But, you know, is that something you would like to see done with this land? Multi sport fields, four pickleball courts, or however many pickleball courts, bocce, playground for kids. Um, any thoughts? Discussion? I personally like the pickleball courts because two pickleball courts equals one tennis court, um, and that's an up-and-coming game. And anybody is playing it in, in schools as well. And then, of course, seniors can play it too. But I've started playing, and I'm not good yet. Maybe by the time I'm 90, I'll be good at it. Um, but it's an up-and-coming game. And just at the Y, there are people playing every day of the week. Um, 40 people there sometimes. And there's a big tournament coming up this Sunday at the Y with people coming from all over the state and actually out of the state to play um, in a tournament. Bocce, it's just a great f game for anybody to play too. So I think the family ones, those are the two that I would really support. Um, I don't think I would support putting another baseball field there or a football field there or any of those. Um, but the pickleball or bocce, and that's the same kind of thing Phil said, too. He said um, he would support, on a bit limited basis, he'd support pickleball and bocce, but he doesn't want to see basketball or tennis courts or skateboard park there. Okay, so let's go ahead and just split this one up then. Let's do two votes, one of them to talk about the fields, like adding an extra basketball uh, court or like an outdoor basketball court or an extra baseball diamond or um, something, you know, just a multi-purpose recreational field that's on the one hand but then on the other hand you know the other the pickleball bocce playground you know something a little more uh, smaller in scale um, so let's talk let's let's keep going with the pickleball bocce playground for kids keep doing that for now and then we'll um, come back to the multi-sport fields afterwards so I don't know, the other discussion about pickleball bocce playground I think if you're going to make it a cross-country course and you're going to have potentially tournaments there and stuff where you have younger brothers and sisters, it wouldn't hurt to have a playground there. Mm. Okay. Especially what? if... I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. If you're going to have cross-country meets there and you have potentially like younger siblings coming, it wouldn't hurt to have a playground there. Mm -hmm. um, or also if parents want to do a walking loop or something and, okay, we'll go to the playground afterwards. Mm -hmm. Or if you're going to maybe have fireworks there in the future. It's awful close Something. to Capron Park that has an elaborate playground. It's awful close to this playground. You Capron know, requires Park is maintenance. Very busy though. I mean, I was there yesterday and the day before in the afternoon. It was very busy. Mm -hmm. I, I think if I were over at the at um, Highland and I wouldn't want my kid to go across to to Capron while I was at Highland, I think I'd want him to be in the same area. Oh sure, I definitely want to supervise him. My only concern about, you know, even pickle courts, uh, pickleball courts, is the less pavement on that property, the better. And if we're going to start talking about putting courts in here and things like that, then I think we're getting away from one of the main reasons we wanted to preserve that as, as you know, natural space. That's a very good point. You could even take part of the parking lot that's already there, because the pickleball courts well, are you, really two But if, you, if you've got a function court. room, they're going to want in an amphitheater. Want if you do an amphitheater, yeah. you're going to want as much parking as possible yeah. without well, creating we, more. We have a 350 car parking spot that's going to go in. That's what she was talking about, taking space from that, right? That's what you no, were saying. Well, some, the uh, some area. Yeah, she's talking they're about the not existing. very big. Yeah. Um, other discussion about 
pickleball, bocce. We like have bocce courts mm -hmm. in uh, at Lee's Pond. Okay. There's two. There's two bocce courts down there. Mm -hmm. and, um, They're new. They were just one was built by a Boy Scout and then yeah. one by the Recreation. Um, and that was for the uh, <coughs> Hell's Angels um, use that uh, because for the Special Olympics they asked to have those built somewhere on, in recreation fields and they were put in by the rec first and then by a um, Boy Scout. So it's a, there are two down there. They're only used by, I haven't seen anybody else use them. But. Mayor, can we vote on these individually? Yeah, we can. I mean, if you guys want to, let's let's go ahead and start with the pickleball because we haven't talked about multi-sport pickleball. How, well, let's do a vote on that. How many people are yes on maybe seeing pickleball courts there? Raise your hands if you're a yes. I'm a yes and Phil is a yes. Three, three yeses. How many people are no? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six no. So three to six on pickleball. Okay. I have a question on the yeah. pickleball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's basically you draw out the four squares in the pavement and you play against each other with the dodgeball. I know. It is. It's, it's like a short That's version square. of tennis. Um, it's used in phys ed classes because they can make a lot of courts in the phys ed. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also used, it's the biggest up and coming game by seniors because people who played tennis or squash or racquetball who now want to still play mm -hmm. but might not want to play in a full court. So it's a smaller version of tennis. It's yeah. basically. I, I was just thinking cool. if we utilize the parking <laughs> that's there, if it's just something of painting some lines, I mean, why not? Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of unused parking and pavement there right now. Well, would there be a possibility of putting additional lines in the proposed courts up at Pinburg to make them multi-use pickleball and tennis courts? That is, I would say let's take that up at a different like venue to like let's not get to Pinburg here. Just, I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but it let's is possible because half half a tennis court is a pickleball, <coughs> so it might mess up tennis players to see the blue lines. I don't know. Let's vote on bocce then, because that was the next one. We did three to six on pickleball. So bocce, how many people would like to see bocce courts or however it is at Highland? Um, how many yeses? Uh, Phil is a, is a yes on that, and I'm I, I don't, I don't know. I've never played myself, but I think it's. Uh, so when we say bocce, are we talking about actually cutting in um, a bocce lane with a compacted gravel? Or let's talk about it. Because the reason I'm always thinking. Anytime we've gone to the park, ever since I was like, every so often, you just bring a sack of balls with, you know, mm -hmm. and you just play on the grass. Yeah. 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 So if it's just on the grass, I mean, not we're not going to say anything. So that's why I was just wondering, as we say bocce, you know, whether or not it's five feet wide or four feet wide, you know, if you cut a, a lane, maybe 50 feet long, compacted yeah, gravel. Right, 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 right. So are we talking that or just... You know, what do they have at Slater Park? Because that's always crowded. They're bocce courts. What? Doesn't Slater Park them? have them over by the carousel? I don't know. I thought those were horseshoe cuts. Oh, yeah. I think they have both. They have both. Yeah, because I never knew what they were, and then I asked. Yeah. Yeah. What, are, what are they down at these points? They're like uh, crushed, crushed stone, very mm -hmm. compacted. Um, similar to what is it? Yeah, similar to right? what Gary said. They're usually stone dust, right? Stone dust. Yeah, yeah stone pretty dust. Yeah. stone dust. Like yeah. four by four borders. So something that's semi-permanent. I mean, not yeah. that you can't pull it out later, yeah, but yeah, okay. Yeah. In Santa Fe, they, they play at different parks, but they do play on the grass like you just said. They don't have things that are all set up, but they have people that go and just all meet. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. go, you see these 50 people, like, what are they all doing? And they're playing, you know, bocce in the whole field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. That's what they do. It took me a while to figure it out. Okay, let's vote on it then. How many people are a yes for bocce in one form or another, whether it's mm -hmm. you know, cut in? Who, who's a yes? And one, Phil is a yes. Two, three, four, five. Laura, were you a? Sure. A six, okay, six. How mm -hmm. many people are a no? One, two? I, I'm abstaining only because I, I really don't know enough about this whole thing. I mean, it, okay. to me, it's a utilization factor, you know? The guys in the parks and recreation know where all the spots are and how well they're used. I mean, if it makes sense to me, if it makes sense down the road, then yeah, if there's a big, big demand for it. Well, we voted 6 2 on it, so we didn't rule it off the island. We'll put it off the island. So, may or may not happen to be determined. If people wanted to show up and use 
like Gary said, you it's know, just show up with a bag, you know, throw your little ball out there, and then yeah. you just <laughs> wherever it lands, you just play. <laughs> as long as it's mowed, you can't play in you know tall grass. But as long as it's mowed area, yeah. Yeah. So, um, no, but everybody I've seen play <laughs> plays in a mowed area. Oh, okay. I have not tried myself. So much. how about new <laughs> playground for kids? Playground for kids. Um, any discussion on playground for kids? Are you guys ready to? If you'd like to see it, we may or may not have one. I mean, if you, would you guys like to see that there? We'll figure out funding later and where we would put it and how big it would be. But mm -hmm. is that something you would like to see? Um, well, I think it's a practical thing to have at some point in the back burner. Mm -hmm. That depending on what what we do with it mm -hmm. in the short yeah. term or the yeah. long term, you never know. You, I don't think that's one of the. Um, that you want to just take off the table completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's something we need to do right away, but you never know. Um, I, mean, I think, as you said, is you got a bunch of people coming down. You know, you have to entertain the kids somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So it would be a nice little oh. hot lot to have. Yeah. So. Multi-age, multi-age one for different ages. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in like North Alabama has World War One Park with the big playground, and they have like some picnic areas. Mm -hmm. You can rent them, and it's not expensive. It's thirty-five dollars for a picnic area if you have parties there very small income for the city but it could mm -hmm. help to support the, mm -hmm. the maintenance of the, the land mm -hmm. any more discussion how many people vote yes on playgrounds for kids as a possibility we have one two three four and that would be yes for Phil too five hands over here uh, six seven eight and George uh, abstain okay eight to zero on that eight to zero okay very good now the last one in that sec in that cluster was the multi-sport fields another basketball court a um extra baseball diamond or softball diamond or any, any you know a soccer field whatever you know I, go ahead yes i don't think right at this point in time it's not even it's not necessary um, the city has spent literally hundreds of thousands of dollars upgrading the facilities that we already have and right now every um, individual sport has their own facility. Cool. Um, one of the greatest things about um, building plants in Hewitt, the triple down, the trickle down effect was that um, everybody got what they wanted. <clears throat> so, as far as multi recreational fields, I don't think that the city even needs any right now. The youth sports, the the uh, enrollment in youth sports right now is declining in you know every one of the organizations. So. Cool. I don't think that it's... I kind of agree. I, I, I agree with that, too. One, one thing I wouldn't leave off the table is I know the high school is currently in the process of looking for a field to practice in uh, because theirs is going away due to construction. Practice maybe what? Maybe football. Um. So maybe the driving range area could be a temporary fix, you know, depending on how flat it is. I mean, that could be an option that, mm -hmm. you know, we could utilize just temporarily while all construction is going on. Because they practice on the baseball field now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something temporary, I temporary, don't think, would yeah. be unreasonable. Yeah. You know, if it's something where you're going to, you know, spray paint on the grass, spray like a square, you know. Cut it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's unreasonable for something plenty temporary. plenty of flat areas over there for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But as far as future use, I agree that I, we have so much. And then we're, we're going to have tennis courts over at Finberg, too. So. Mm -hmm. Well, the. Um, the needs of the city always trump whatever we do here. You know, this, you guys are a task force advising whoever the mayor is. Um, right now it's me, in the future it's going to be somebody else, but whoever it is, they have this document that they can say, well, this is what the intent of the people who purchased this at the time. So if we needed it for something in the future, that the needs of the city would always trump what we're doing here. But this is just giving us guidance. Mm -hmm. And so you guys are basically just saying, yeah, let's, you know, I, we're pushing it in this direction by uh, the discussion and the subsequent vote. So, how about let's vote on it then? And um, because we can always use it, we can, you know, the needs of the city say, yeah, we need a uh, temporary place for something because the high school, we can always do that. And it's, but in a, as a more of a permanent thing, um, you guys ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's, how many people are a yes on having fields there, one form or another, some type of sports fields? Any yeses? How many people are a no? We have Phil is a no also. Five, and we have six, seven. I was a yes. They just oh, you were a yes. Okay, so we have one yes. We have one yes, and then we have five. Who's a no over here? Six, seven, and you're abstaining? I'm abstaining. Yeah. I really don't know. I mean, it's, it's, I think 
I would say it's a matter of utilization and, and redundancy. Like Leo just said, you get lots of fields. And, okay. but. and I voted yes because 20 years from now we might need fields and they'll go back and say, well, they, they didn't want that property to be well, used. For the, 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 yeah, the, the, um, the needs of the city will always trump whatever we yeah. do here. I mean, we might need to have, I'm just going to throw out a wild, crazy <clears> thing that I do not like the idea of this, so I'm not advocating for it. But what if we needed a joint public safety complex, a big space where we have police and fire all in one? I would hate to see us use Highland Country Club for that, but what if a feasibility study came back and said, hey, this is the best place to improve public safety in the city, it's the cheapest place where you can do it. In that case, we would possibly do it, you know, but um, obviously I don't want that because that's not what our intent was when we bought this. <coughs> anyway, moving on. So the next one is the parking lot for the new high school. That's already going to be done. So let's... Uh, Partial development with quick, housing. Quick question yeah. about that. I'm sorry. Uh, quick question about that. Uh, are there going to be any, I uh, can't think of a better term, but railroad ties, uh, elevated railroad ties, so can't kids drive. can't cut through and, and turf everything? And What do you mean by that? Is there going to be some kind of barrier like preventing driving? people? From driving on the property? From driving oh, from off the of the lot? parking lot into the grass. Um, when we're working with Consigli, the um, uh, GM at the construction, CM at rest, the construction manager for the high school, I can make sure that that's part of their design just by mentioning it to them. That's a good point. So, yeah. I'd hate to see, you know, mm -hmm. we spent. No, that's a good point. The that's Doran point. family donates $50,000, and then and they, the week before yeah. the meet, some kid yeah. turfs it. I'll take that up at the next school building committee so meeting, SBC building. meeting. Um, yeah. So. Um, but basically, okay, so that is that. So the next one, number 20, was partial development with housing. So in other words, we develop part of this into housing. I already know my, I, I don't want to see any houses on this property at all. Like You're not that. voting. What's that? You're I, not voting. No, but I can still offer my opinion. <laughs> um, Try to influence us. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I break ties, but the... Um, yeah, partial, I mean, that's not, I, that's me personally, I don't want to mm -hmm. see that, but what do you guys think? Go ahead and open up the discussion. Who wants to? Well, I, there's about to be a bunch of housing right on Mechanic Street. That's right. Um, and there's, it seems like there's new housing kind of everywhere. <laughs> um, I think once you put a, something up, it's hard to take yeah. it down, and you, you can't recover. Yeah, that, that would be essentially a very permanent. Yeah, yeah. And we, yeah. you can't yeah. recover yeah. open space yeah. when you yeah. lose it. So I'd, if we don't have to, I would. Yeah. I, 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 it seems the overwhelming consensus at the public hearings was that nobody wanted any type of housing. permanent housing developed. At we bought it to prevent exactly that. Exactly, yeah. 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 So I think we can vote on this one. Let's vote on it. How many people are a yes on partial development, developing a portion of the land into housing? Any yeses? How many noes? We have myself and Phil. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, uh, zero to nine. Okay, that's an easy one. Thank you guys. Zero to nine. So, picnics, so the next one, number 21. And we talked about this earlier, but picnic table areas with like a barbecue pit for family functions. We could rent those out, as we were saying earlier, $35, like they do at, you know, the North Attleboro Park. So, um, discussion about that. Do you guys want to see that type of activity on this land? Any thoughts? I like the idea of picnic tables. But I'm not so sure about the barbecue pits. I think that's, I don't know, I think that can be, end up being Well, just like a grill, you know, something yeah. you throw like grill and charcoal. It doesn't have to be barbecue. I know they really. do have those at World War I Memorial Park in North Attleboro, and they get well used. Mm -hmm. um, and they have it in a safe way so that they can't cause fires. Um, as long as it could be done in a safe way that can't cause fires, um, I think it's always great to have more places for families to go mm -hmm. and go to have a picnic and play or do whatever, go for a hike and the more places the better. Other discussion? No. Let's vote on it. How many people are a yes on picnic tables with like a cookout grill barbecue pit thing on the side, you know? A yes. Phil is a yes also. So we have five over here. Six, seven, eight, Laura, nine. Okay. Nine to zero. Very good. We are moving through this quickly. Now, the next one is number 22. And it actually, somebody said, they suggested we use the pro shop as a senior center. Now, the pro shop has already basically been turned over to the high school because they needed, um, the high school needed a, like a maintenance facility. And so, however, I have been entertaining the idea of turning the clubhouse into a senior center. I don't think it's actually gonna happen. Um, what do you guys feel about that? I mean, just. I think it, we talked about we, that. We voted on five. that already. 
that it was Clubhouse a is a senior four, center? Yes, okay, so this is just, so this one, okay, you're right. So we're just going to cross this one off the list because this pro shop has already been turned into something for the high school, so that's... What's that been turned into? It's basically like their maintenance facility, it's, um, like where they do, you know, they... Is it big enough? Yeah, they have, they have you know, they do things in there. They have a couple garages next to it as well that make it a lot bigger oh, yeah. than you, that's what it does. Are they so. going to need it after the construction? Yeah, yeah. So the high school is going to permanently use that as a maintenance facility. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. The, the new construct, the high school, uh, new construction on the high school did not allow for a maintenance facility. The MSBA did not allow it. It was not. They could. They wouldn't reimburse us for that to have a maintenance facility. So they said, no, can't do it. So we're building a big parking lot up close to the school for the workers that are mm -hmm. temporary, but permanent workers are going to be going down that far. All the way around, yeah. <laughs> Why is the parking lot way up there? Why isn't it down here? The parking lot? Because yeah. the parking the parking lot for the new high school needs to be very close to the high school. It just It's just a, as a matter of saving money. There happens to be this pro shop, which we're kind of turning into the maintenance building. That way we don't have to build anything. It just is in, happens to be inconvenient that it's mm. across the, you know, the whole golf course. Right, because if the parking lot was closer to the potential banquet facility, then it would be used by the banquet facility as well as the yeah, people but the, attending. The parking lot we are using, we're, we're building that 350 car parking lot. Um, it's one of those needs of the city type thing. And it, not only is it the parking lot, it's also the staging ground for the steel and all the construction materials. That saves the high school about the new construction about two to two and a half million dollars. Um, and bringing in stuff from elsewhere right. by being able to do it right there. So as part of that, we, we're doing it like really close to the, um, the high school. Would you still have to construct a 350 space parking lot if you use the existing paved area and lot for the workers? Because if the high school people can Which existing go down paved to lot for the workers? Which one? The one at the clubhouse. That the is... The area there smaller. at the... Yeah, that's... T it is smaller. That's so you wouldn't have to build 350 additional spaces. Well, that one there, part of the problem is that, in theory, that parking lot will be used for whatever the clubhouse is going to be used for. Right. So you, you'd, you'd have that conflicting, like the construction workers plus the patrons or whoever are coming into the clubhouse. So, um, yeah, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. Okay, good. Um, <coughs> Mayor, can I just uh, can I ask where, where where you are as far as uh, deciding what you're going to do with the clubhouse? Clubhouse. We're still figuring that out. I recently had a conversation with um, uh, Morin's Catering. They looked at it very closely to see if they could somehow afford to lease it out. And I told them we have one thing on our side that we don't need to make money. Basically, uh, we by purchasing this, we saved the city money so we actually don't have to make a profit on it we can do it at like practically no cost because by not having the houses there that's the savings we um, have so as it turns out they said they can't really figure out how to make it economically viable so the next thing we're looking at is possibly putting the council on aging there and if that doesn't work out then we're going to continue trying to do some other business um, but another possibility is we actually just sell the clubhouse the last, the, the two last things we want to do are just leave it vacant, because that's just you know waste, or, or tear it down. Tearing it down would cost maybe a half a million dollars at, at the lowest end. You know, it would, it would be ridiculously expensive to tear that down. It might even cost a million dollars just to tear it down, and then we just put like a grass in its place. So if we can, I think I'd rather see it be sold before you know. First, we keep it, lease it, use it, do something with it. But if, if nothing bites, you know, if there's no venue for it, so no appetite for it, then we just try and sell it to someone. What about the bottom portion where the um, where the bar and lounge used to be? I know you mentioned that there was a possibility of a business going in there. That's a pot. Yeah. So there's the business could go in there, and then you know if the business goes in there, great. Then you know at least we get some revenue coming in, two, three thousand dollars a month to help pay for the buildings, upkeep, and everything. But if it, and then in the meantime, we can just buy more time to hopefully rent something out, um, you know, up top or lease it out. But it, it's to be determined. I mean, uh, r the economic development director, Catherine Thierick, um, she is working on trying to find somebody. And mm -hmm. I mean, I've worked on it as well. And it's, uh, it, it needs so much work to get it back up to uh, like a functioning banquet hall of some sort. It's just um, like, oh gosh, and some people, you know, Morin's and Young's, uh, Morins and Youngs both said, nah, sorry, not interested. Because so. it 
so much was taken during the bankruptcy sell-offs. Yeah, they just have to redo the entire kitchen, and there's just a lot that needs to be done. Everything was taken out of that? Yeah. So. so, that's what the update is with the clubhouse, but moving on then, again, this is number 23. It's almost like we don't even need to vote on it. It's a, like using the land in the future for a possible school. Um, I mean, again, the needs of the city always trump what we do here, but... If, uh, I think we can just skip that one because it's just land reserved for a school. Like imagine if Studley burned down right now and we had to build something really quickly, you know, we'd possibly have to throw it up right there. I mean, I don't know, I'm just making that up, but mm -hmm. the needs of the city always take over everything we need, so. You guys want to discuss that at all? No, no, mm -hmm. no. Okay, so we're not even gonna vote on that because that's, now here's, the, here's one we should vote on, a solar farm. So I always envisioned a solar farm on something like the driving range. Um, you know, that, that, that big area, you might, who knows how many panels you could get there, whether it's leased and the, you know, the city gets paid or the energy goes back to the, um, the grid and, or, you know, it's, there's any number of things, but would, how would you guys feel about seeing solar panels at Highland Country Club? Like, Probably the only place I would think would be a great idea to have them is in the, par over the parking areas. Um, that's done in Santa Fe everywhere, and those are the primo parking spaces out there. You get under a solar panel, it's great. Mm -hmm. um, and that would be, with that, we're going to have two parking areas. That would be plenty, and that would not ruin any of the fields. It would be, that would be a good, you know, that's 350 right. parking spaces, right? And one in 150 in the other. I think you'd need to remove other. trees, though. Possibly. What? You'd probably have to start knocking down some trees. Well, for the parking lot, you do anyway. No, we're not uh, marking down any. Um, no. no, there's no. You would have to for solar panels. Yeah, the um, the city actually is entering into. Um, we're putting out an RFP request for proposals for um, almost all of our municipally owned parking lots to lease the space over the parking lots for us to make money on that. We're actually in the process of doing that right for now. For solar. For solar, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. so we're doing that, all of, including all the schools. That's something we're already doing. But this could be, mm -hmm. in addition to that, but I don't know, based on where the parking lots, I think you'd have to cut down trees, but. Could be for the one up by the yeah. clubhouse. That's but already open. The, the basic question is though, on this land, how do you feel about seeing solar panels? Do you guys want to see solar panels somewhere in some fashion on this land? That's such a beautiful piece of property up there. And I think if you look around the city, there's plenty of private property that's being developed for solar farms. I know there's, there's a couple of three here in Attleboro and in and, and surrounding towns. Um, I, I'd rather not see the city get into the business of manufacturing energy and I'd rather see it, personally, I'd rather see it remain open space for the residents to use rather than putting a solar farm over there and, you know, the, possi the possibility of vandalism and everything else exists over there and, I mean, open space is open space. Derek Gibbs. I think the only potential for a solar farm there would be on the driving range. Mm. And then, you know, you'd have to have a study to see how economically viable it would be to have something. Uh, in that area because they do need to be a certain size to actually make you money and be viable. Right. Mm -hmm. so. and don't forget it. Most of those panels have to be replaced every every, every 25 years. Or so like so that, it's, yeah. it's not like they're going to last forever. Mm -hmm. um, at some point they're going to have to replace them. So we, we, we're, we keep shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking with all the construction and, and uh, you know home building that's going on anyway. I think we should preserve every possible piece of open space that we have. Let's vote. How many people are yes on seeing a solar farm in some fashion or another? It's you know in some location or another. Do you want to see solar panels at Highland Country Club? Any yeses? I would be yes, but over parking lots only. And that's the same thing with Phil. I think he says the same thing. Okay, yeah. that's both um, of us. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what we're talking about yeah. here. Though. Yeah. So so it's zero on that. How many people are a no? We have one, two, three. Three, you're a. Oh, I wouldn't want it in the fields, but in the parking lots, I would. Okay. So I don't know how to put that. So that's a, that's a well. This is we're talking about fields right now, over okay, grass. The fields area. would be a no. Okay, so Phil is a no as well. Yes, because he just said just over parking lots. Okay, so five no's, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, zero to nine. Very good. Okay, next one. We I think this will be a pretty quick one. We can vote on. Uh, walking and biking trails in the summertime, or snowshoeing and cross-country skiing in the winter. Um, basically the same thing. We already have the cross-country course. This would be outside of the, you know, boundary of that. So any discussion on that? Walking and biking trails in the summertime, or snowshoeing cross-country in the winter? Basically just opening the land up for people to. 
go have any, any discussion? I think that's the reason everyone bought it. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and vote. Um, yeah, yes. So how many people are a yes on that idea? We have Bill would be a yes. Five, nine. Okay, nine to zero. Okay, very good, nine to zero. Now, here's another one. Somebody suggested this. I don't remember who, but I could look it up. It's the YMCA leasing the land for um, something that they may need. I mean, it's I, the YM, I actually asked the executive director, Robin McDonald, I said, do you guys have any interest? She said, no, they don't, they don't have any interest in it. So Yeah, the person who came up and spoke just said, and, and maybe the Y would like to lease yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it was so. Do we even need to vote on it? Um, let's go ahead and vote on it because somebody said it. And um, how many people are a yes on that? How many people are no? <laughs> okay, so we have nine to zero once again. Okay, and Phil's a no on that. Uh, land lease to uh, no, no, not for now. Okay, zero to nine. Okay, so we have two more things. A cross country course we already did. Now, would somebody also talked about fitness stations, and these could arguably be put along the cross country course or you know the walking and biking trails. I mean, this, so fitness stations, discussion about that. Uh, they're a nice addition, and I think that was brought up by the uh, two coaches themselves. Um, it was a nice addition to any walking, biking, hiking trail, um, and it brings more people out to do things. Uh, if they can do a little a whole workout in a beautiful outdoor facility, it's a very nice thing. And they had suggested that the high school could build them. I do remember them both saying that. I remember, um, uh, I remember them saying that the uh, high school shop and wood shop area and the metal shop area could actually build some good workout stations so yeah, I think it'd be just a nice addition we do have them at Finberg and Lee's Pond mm -hmm. and Ponce and Hewlett yep. people do take it yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. okay. um, any more discussion how many people are a yes yes we have what's Phil, Phil what's Phil hey Lynn what's Phil yeah, I don't have any. I don't. I can't find it for his. I don't think he has that one down. Okay, so we have three over here and just three. Phil's abstaining. Okay, so you're a, you're a no. no. Okay, so we have three. How many yeses? Three, four, five, six. Six yeses, and how many? How many noes? We have one, two, two noes. Okay, very good. Lynn and Leo, did we also put one at Briggs when we did the facelift at Briggs Playground? Did seen we put a fitness? What are there too? Uh, no. Just walk in from. Um, that was maintenance. There may be something there, Gary. I can't. I thought, I thought we put a, one there's a zip there. line for kids. Oh yeah, not the zip line. Zip line. It's a <laughs> zip line to your left. I could have sworn we put one of those fitness centers to the right. No, so. so here's okay. Here's the last idea that came up. The last idea um, that somebody mentioned at some point is a bathroom facility. Just somewhere on the outside. Do you guys want to see a bathroom facility? When you say on the outside. Explain. Like just like not. In other words, not inside the clubhouse. Like sort of just a like free. Like and Hewitt. Um. That yeah. I'm just, a big fan of bathrooms. Yes. You can look quarter jobs, though, right? Could we just run? <laughs> I, think, I have to tell you. I have, I have to tell you. Bathroom anywhere. I, I, I went. Yeah, not a kid. I went to a wedding um, up in Idaho in September, <laughs> and they had. I don't think it was. Uh, bathrooms, air conditioning. Um, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying <laughs> these were some the I'm most sure they were. phenomenal. Yeah, but, jazz, but, <laughs> yeah, but you know we're not getting those. Yeah. So I'm after saying, you put a bathroom in Cape Rampart, oh, we should have put those, one here. Yeah, they, okay, they have we those do at the same time for economies yeah, of scale. The Dell Technologies, too. especially if we yeah, do an those amphitheater those or yeah, whatever. So that that was what the thought was. A real bathroom. I believe that I believe the 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 person who suggested this said, if you've been okay. Horse neck. Me when you I go to Horseneck should. Beach, they have yeah. the one. Yeah, it's a structure. It's yeah. permanent, but you, you, it doesn't need to be tied into the sewer it's system. Not Everything tied. is called natural. Compostable toilets, yeah. and they're not mm -hmm. porta potties. They don't have the liquid. They don't need to be picked up and emptied. And so, are those the ones you ever been to Beaver Tail Park on Jamestown? Are those the ones next to the lighthouse? That it's like a semi permanent. It's a semi-permanent yeah. structure. And yeah, like maybe seven by seven. Yeah. There's a door, but it's a portage on, but more permanent than a portage on. So a yeah, semi portage I've actually seen, the, yeah, in City Park in Warwick, they built a few of those, actually. Um, the, well, it's better the than the portage the high school football field like little that open all the time, so they open during it. Just during events? Just during, during events. events. Yeah. So they could be open during cross-country events? 
Yeah, but then you got to trek way over there. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal for cross country. You're running people. anyway. Yeah, but I mean the, um, the patrons, though. <laughs> not, the, the not the parents and yeah, the parents, other yeah. family members. Well, so you right. either trek to a bathroom or right. you don't have a bathroom. Right. So yeah. that's true. It might um, be they're going to do what the golfers yeah. did. I mean, to, to put these like bathroom <laughs> facilities wherever, I mean, that would true. We'd have to, have to do a study to figure out where it would go, where it would be centrally located. You know, easy to you know get to people, and so I mean, we don't have to figure out where it would go or how big. See what happens to the ones down at Ponce and Hewitt if you just happen to leave the door unlocked, mm -hmm. or if you open them, um, they and they do leave them open for the summer camps. Mm -hmm. and they get beat up, pretty beat up in a short period of time. Yes. But I mean, it's as a parent with young children, you have to go a lot. And you're there for a couple hours in the summertime doing do at a playground or a facility you go to watch a track meet whatever it is unfair for citizens who paid to use the land not to be able to use the bathroom when you're yeah. there and to have to leave mm -hmm. and if you're gonna have the, a, um, an amphitheater and things like that i mean you gotta you do something yeah. what about the pro shop what facilities are in the pro shop the pro One shop toilet. no toilet yeah. One toilet. One, One toilet. toilet. yeah and the pro shop's also being used by the high school anyway like their maintenance, I don't know if that would be. But put a structure attached to that. Oh, you, yeah, you could do that. You could also probably put one somewhere. We could put one anywhere we want, just because it's a matter of money. Um, so how many people are a yes on seeing toilets or bathrooms, rest facilities of some sort, some, some, some fashion, some. somewhere, somehow on this property? Whether it's a glorified. Yeah, raise your hand, hold it up so I can keep it. So we have one, two, <laughs> one, two. Bill doesn't have this down. One, I don't two, know what. three, four, five, six. Six people are yeses. How many people are noes? One, two, two. Six to two. Once again. Okay, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we had. So we basically had three public hearings where people came in, told us ideas. These were the ideas. You guys discussed them. You guys voted on them, and now we have them all right here. I'm going to put this together in the form of a report. This does not conclude the, the future development and future use of Highland. That is going to be an ongoing thing, certainly the entire time I'm the mayor. Um, it's going to be an ongoing thing indefinitely into the future, like how we are going to develop this land and how we're going to use it. You know, we might do, I mean, we're doing the cross country course right now. And then sometime in the near future, we might do, we might grab from this list that you guys voted yes on. Yeah, and so, I learned. Um, but this, this is basically the menu of options that we have. We, we voted a couple of things off the island, but this is the menu of options, and you guys know what it is. And yeah, so. Are you, yeah. Now, <clears throat> are you going to prioritize that at all, or just cherry pick off it as, as I mean, it's so, sort of cherry pick, sort of, you know, I mean, uh, what I would do is you guys have given me a list of stuff that, you know, you, the community, you guys provided these ideas. And then you know the, they came from the public, and then you guys from the community voted on the ideas. So all of these are approved by the community to do with. So now I would basically say, okay, working with Derek or um, Gary, and figure out, you know, hey, what could we do where? What, you know, giving some of these ideas to Derek to take over to URI, and then they could design something like, you know, a bigger, you know, something more comprehensive or. Just because we have, I'm, I'm, I don't know how many things we voted off the island. We had 29 things here, and we voted on, you know, I'm just going to make up a number. Maybe 15 of them survived. Just because we have 15 here, it doesn't mean we're going to do all 15. We might only do five. We might only do six or seven. You know, and like I always say, the needs of the city always trump what we're doing here. You guys are just an advisory task force to me to help me figure out what to do with the land. So does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. And what about this committee going forward? Next time we, next time I need you guys, like when I come up with, when I have an idea about something, I'll reconvene us. You know, just say, hey guys, let's get back together. I want to know what you think about, um, like I guess when Derek, when he comes back with some designs from the URI, they're probably going to have options, and then we can all look at those probably options. Usually that's how they do it, like look at three, five options, or nine, however many they come up with. And then um, we can say, hey, I like this layout because we got this over here and this over there and this, you know, and then you guys would just once again say, yeah, let's, let's do it like this. You know, let's pursue this. And then, then we have to figure out how to pay for it. And then also if conservation and land planning approve it and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, yeah. Do you think that it makes sense to have an oversight board for Highland as a, its own group? Like that kind of... Well, the... Um, 
go under the park and forestry parks. department okay. basically is overseeing that property they're, they're, park and forestry oversees cape and park they're doing the same thing with this okay. the building inspector bill mcdonough he actually oversees the he has jurisdiction over the highland country club clubhouse itself and the pro shop the high school now has jurisdiction over that and that was something just by me saying okay you know just executive decision you do this you do this you do this just dividing up the work i mean there's as my as mayor i get to just make those calls so. the other question is i know that there's like friends of around mm -hmm. town for different things does it make sense to do that we could. Yeah. somebody could organize that you know so we have a like a non-profit way to bring mm -hmm. that would be a nice idea. thing to start if somebody wanted to do that good. okay that's a good yeah. idea go ahead <laughs> city given any thought into what the property is going to be named no i was I, we haven't really talked about that at all I mean, you guys want to talk about that? Because I know that the sign is down. The sign's down. Somebody was trying to steal it. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't um, me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but keeping Highland in there somewhere, because yeah. it was Highland for so long, so keeping that somehow in the name, I think, is important. For I would think it's important. Because it's, I, who doesn't call it Highland? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. right. It, it's Highland. It is yeah, Highland. it's Highland. Yeah, people simple. still call Lee's Pond Highland Playground. Park. Lee's Pond Park. Playground. It's not really <laughs> that. Highland Park. Yeah. Highland Park. It's Highland pretty Park. Good. The, the only other option I would recommend, and I don't want to lose lose the word Highland, but uh, that property was never developed because Mr. Watson, who was a jewelry maker here in the city, gave it to the members of Highland Country Club so mm -hmm. that it would be preserved and be a golf course. And, you know, in one of my columns, I said, you know, Watson Park at Highland or something like that. But we could name away after Watson in the property. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, it'd be nice to, to at least remember him because I don't know if it, it got sold at auction or whether or not, but the actual deed yeah. to the property from Mr. Watson was hanging up in the grill room. Yeah. Um, so Everything got sold I, at auction. Uh, I like Highland Park. I think that's just like you got Capron Park, you got Highland Park. I was also thinking like Capron Park North, but I like Highland Park. I like a lot better. Highland yeah, Park. me too. So we're not going to call it Highland Country Club anymore. We'll Could call you it call Highland it a, Park. a country park? Highland Country Park. Highland Park. <laughs> I like Highland Park. Yeah, I think Derek Highland nailed it. Highland Park sounds great. Yeah, good job, Derek. You nailed it. <laughs> Keep it simple. Almost like it does, it does this for a living. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Have you thought about when it's going to be open to the public? Derek's. I'm shooting for spring. Uh, we've caught some good weather, so we're doing a lot of work on the grounds now, just kind of combing through the cleanup. Um, I met with the cross-country coaches. We have a, a prelim plan down for the, uh, the walking track, and uh, we're going to start marking it out tomorrow, actually. And then, you know, I'm, I'm hoping by April 1, we're, we're kicking that thing off, ready to go. Did you buy your, the equipment you need? We did. It? Yeah, it's on order, so we should have it soon. Nice. Yeah. Did... Did they got the pumping station as well? Yes. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, is no longer there. It's a shame. You guys really clean that place yeah. out, especially the clubhouse. It was cannibalized. Yeah. Pretty much. No one. No one. No wonder they can't use it. Mormons or or Youngs can't use it. They'd have to rebuild the. And I, when they were auctioning off stuff, I uh, went to the auctioneer and said, "Hey, can you not auction off these chandeliers? There must have been." what 40 50 chandeliers all over the clubhouse mm -hmm. i said because if we lose those chandeliers that's just going to be much more expensive and they, they agreed they said sure we'll, we'll leave the chandeliers and thank you because that would have just it would have been a big yeah. ugly room they ripped the everything room. else up oh i everything. know that was ugly well, they, had also, take the they had also and i don't need to tell you this but they had also the brass railings that yep. were around the, the staircase mm -hmm. Going down, they were going to take those off and auction yeah. those off. Yeah, we, we stopped a lot of stuff from being auctioned. We went in and said, no, can you just leave that? Just I mean, you're kind of just nickel and the diamonds because mm -hmm. it's just going to be more that the city has to uh, replace after mm -hmm. you leave. And so, anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the report of you know what we did here. I'm going to talk about the process, put it on the city's website. We're going to call it Highland Park. And that is not going to conclude our work so this is these are just the ideas that came from the public that you the public said yes we would like some of these no we don't want some of those and then then what we're going to do going forward is i'll work with derek on getting stuff over to uri and then um you know you can work with your old professors and have them use some of their grad students and you know do projects on it and then at some point in the future we'll reconvene about mm -hmm. you know hey what would how do you, you know, this, this, 
this concept plan looks like this, this concept plan looks like that. Just what do we like? And um, you know, so we could do it as like a big thing like that, or we can do it piecemeal. You know, so we'll, let, we'll let the guys at URI figure that out because that's what they do. We would do probably a variety of concepts for the area. Yeah. Cool. Basic things, but um, yeah, kind of a little more of a vision because we have no vision for it. Right now. We don't have any vision. That's right. We have we have a list of ideas, but we don't have that vision. That's right. And you know, I don't think anybody at this table is really qualified to draft what that would look like. But that's the, you know the you know program at URI would. So where is the um, cross country track going to go exactly? All you know? all around the grounds. So you met with them yesterday, right? Yep. We marked out um, what the course is going to look like, and now it's basically the cleanup phase, marking it out, and um, you know it's it's it'll be nice when it's uh, complete. Mile and uh, mile and a half. Mile and a half. Where's it going to start, Eric? It's going to start um, whatever you know what fairway it is, the one that's right in front of uh, the clubhouse right now. Yeah, first fairway. First, that's the first fairway. That is what I plan on keeping mowed all the time keep that field nice and clean then from there going down to that first uh, hole that's where it's going to start and wrap around and then come up through the uh, the ninth hole mm -hmm. and back to the first fairway so it okay, it goes through a lot of nice areas i think it'll be great for just walking hiking mountain biking it, it's going to be nice. nice it's going to be nice it's going to put the land to use and um you know it's a good start is there, is there any thought down the road of, not that I want to see bulldozers in there, but where the bunkers used to be, the sand traps of yeah, uh, well we maybe kind of, cutting down on the... We kind of like the look of the sand traps right now. Really? So, yeah, so we're going to keep it as is. It has an interesting feel to it. So mm -hmm. for now we're going to keep the sand traps. And you don't have to rape them. You don't have to rape them, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> You know, we're going to leave them for now and then, you know, let it grow from there. It's a homemade uh, sandbox. Could you restore one green so we could just go out there and drop balls and hit them? <laughs> plenty of balls out there, trust me. <laughs> a few of them are probably mine. Yeah. Never have to buy another one after that. <laughs> so, um, you guys will hear from me again. I don't know when. I have to do, you know, draft up their report. We'll go on the city website and, you know, send it to the paper and all that good stuff. But, um... Like I said, though, the, the development of this, you know, will continue because this is, this is just a list of ideas, that's all. This is just the first step in many steps to do this. So, cool. Thank you guys for everything so far. Thank you. Thank you.